Oh, Alright, Jamal, Leo, come here. What? This video of an ignorant, racist, bullying a 15 year old Syrian refugee went viral on the internet yesterday, and it's pretty hard to watch. Here's a gigantic rotund fail son with the worst haircut ever pursuing his target like a hyena. His victim is Jamal who escaped the conflict in Syria only to get relentlessly harassed and physically assaulted by this smooth brained maniac where the large dipshit attempts to headbutt him, choke slams the boy to the ground and then proceeds to waterboard him. <laughs> Imagine escaping a civil war that's displaced 11 million Syrians and caused half a million casualties, finally making it to the United Kingdom where some Ron Weasley looking ass foreskin of a human takes out his personal frustrations that his dad never hugged him on you. Also for the immediate skeptics, this kind of bullying absolutely causes serious trauma. Even according to the GoFundMe, Jamal and his sister have been targeted like this for months, causing his sister to self harm as a consequence. And for the these are just kids being kids, people. As if hurting someone smaller than you wasn't pathetic enough, the victim also had a cast on his arm, apparently from a previous attack. How miserable is your existence to physically confront someone who cannot fight back, dude? And then of course there's the waterboarding. Such a funny thing to do to someone. But I guess for that one, we have the war criminals of previous administrations to thank for actively fighting the good fight to normalize torture. And by that, I mean the Bush administration and the architects of the Iraq war, not to mention all the Iraq war's cheerleaders, which includes everyone from the elite media class ghouls all the way to reasonable internet intellectuals like Sam Harris and Ben Shapiro. These quote unquote intellectuals actively vilify and dehumanize Muslims and Islam in general, which is of course a big part of why sexually frustrated idiots tend to feel emboldened in launching attacks such as this one. And speaking of right wing radicalization, the internet also exposed that this dingus loves Tommy Robinson or Tonya Robin, whatever the fuck his stupid name is, and routinely shares a bunch of Britain first filth on his social media. Imagine my shock. I wonder why these kids are becoming gigantic bigots. What could it possibly be? It's the Muslim, Muslim law. They've got their, they've got their law. Obviously it's their law, isn't it? Like, there's no way, we can't do anything about that, but we're just trying to stop Muslim. We've got Muslim ray guns. Real big brain stuff here, Muslim ray guns. And that's what this kid has to look forward to becoming, basically. And this isn't exactly an isolated incident. Here's another video from the UK that went viral last year. Look, bullying in school turns into hate crimes in adulthood, but bullying now is turning into hate crimes in childhood as well. And that hatred seems to be spreading. Religious hate crimes have risen 40% in England and Wales, and more than half of those attacks are directed at Muslims, with Jewish people the next most commonly targeted group. The numbers in the US are also consistent with that data, with 42% of Muslims with children reporting that their kids have been bullied at their school for their religious beliefs. Now, I'm of course heartbroken by what happened to Jamal, and I'm glad the police are investigating the issue, I'm glad there's a GoFundMe and you should go out there and, and donate to it. And while my immediate reaction was to get upset at the bully and all of the onlookers around him who, who enabled this behavior, who didn't step in to stop it, I can't help but get upset at all of the right wing and liberal dipshits who keep spreading falsehoods about Islam and fear mongering about Muslims. You are causing this behavior. You are teaching this behavior. You're normalizing it. And it plays right into the hands of awful individuals waiting for marginalized teens ripe for radicalization. I'm Hassan Piker. Please share this video with your friends and leave your thoughts in the comments section below if you want more people to see this. If you want to have a longer conversation, I'm live on my Twitch every day at 5 p.m. Pacific at twitch.tv slash Hassanabi. And if you'd like to support TYT, please go to tyt.com slash Hassan and join TYT membership. And this has been The Breakdown.